Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha Allah. Koholoyim la, Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai, Bahashimr Kahakodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water to all the Aki Menachwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um,. Wanted to touch on this article. It says Russia, ele Russia election, Vladimir Putin, unsurprisingly wins with 87.8% of the vote. Exit poll shows. So basically this guy's going to be around for another six years, <laughs> which we know him to be, or Russia rather, you know what I'm saying, to be a big part in prophecy as far as the uh, destruction and fall of Babylon the Great, which is America. Okay, but hey, that's an approval rating that's that's pretty high. Trump or Biden don't have that type of um approval rating. I don't think not not one U.S. president has had that type of um approval rating because there's so much separation. You see, those Edomites over there, they are very patriotic. You know, they see the West as you know being a problem and wanting to bring them down. So they're actually patriotic about their country they don't have no problems with men joining the army here in the americas you got a problem with recruits don't nobody wants to enlist but they're they're voluntarily um enlisting man they got a, i think they got a um a backup reserve of just like about shit damn near half a million men just you know they ain't even sending in like the big dogs to even even do what they're doing in ukraine i'm just regular you know um they ain't even sent in the big dogs and they're slowly taking their time. And see, you got these silly ass Americans. I see them in the comment boards and they get to talking about how he should have been took over Ukraine. They're so weak. No, this man is being strategic. He don't want to tear the whole damn place up. But he's he's strategically taking over land, you know, by the days, man, by the weeks. <laughs> and America can't stop it. And, you know, there's another article, too, that I wanted to touch on. I, I, I might as well do them all together. Um, it's like three articles. Uh, but anyway, let's get a little bit of this one. Because, again, he's going to be there. I think their elections are for six years, not four like here in the Americas. So who, you know, unless this man passes away and somebody else is taking his, takes his position, he's going to play a, a key part in the destruction of America. He's been talking about nuclear war for the past few days like it's nothing or the past month or two months three months this past year really you know the wars rumors of wars are being spoken of right it says the results are flooding in and to no one's surprise russian president vladimir putin appears to have garnered himself another yep another six-year term in office amid a rigged election in the eastern european country <laughs> they saying it's rigged oh hey well shit what what can you say america is not going to tell you any truths about no country that they're against anyway they're going to always give you propaganda as to, you know, why we're there and why we should be fighting. We're fighting for democracy and we got to go and help these people out. And 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 we must help Ukraine for the betterment of the world, because if we don't, they're going to, you know, um, go into other countries. This man didn't want this war, man. This shit is all on the Western um, Western um, in NATO, man. It says an exit poll has showed he reportedly received around 80, 87 percent of the vote. His closest competition only garnered about 4.7 of the vote. Russian government operated media um, agency um, reported. Ballots officially closed late Sunday at 8 p.m. Moscow time. The, the end of the third day of voting in the country's first ever three-day election. As the results are tallied, it's become apparent that Putin will once again be the winner. Securing himself a fifth term. Damn, see? He, he's basically like a damn king there. Shit, he don't need a fifth term? All you best you can get here in the Americas is two terms. Joe Biden, he's leaning towards not having a second term because he's he's just. Uh, man, look, this place, hey, you have to know that we are very, very close to the end, man. That's why it's so important to repent. These types of things right here play a big part in prophecy, man. This is beautiful. Gotta love it. man. <laughs> I love it. So whoever wins. This man is going to be there plus some. And we're praying that it don't go no six years. We're praying that his six year term. We're praying that this thing go ahead and pops this year. Next year at, at best. At latest, man. 
But him being there another six years, that for damn sure plays a great part in what's about to happen, man. Because he's already, he see, his people, they already understand. They have a mindset that, hey, there's no use in us changing out. No, no, no. Uh, you know, we're they understand that they're at war. They understand that their society has everything to do with, you know, hey, look, we got to stick together here. And you don't have that type of shit going on here in the Americas. Because America is falling. And that's another article that I've seen, too, that I wanted to get into. As a matter of fact, we can just go into it. You know, I just wanted to kind of bring this up to just show because it just popped up. It's pretty much um, fresh off the press, so to speak. But let's get this article right here. Check this one out. Let me go into my history. Uh, damn, was this the phone I had? Yep, here we go, right here. Facing three global crises, the American empire may be nearing final collapse. See? And this is a nice article, too. This is in um, Salon. Uh, it's quite a long article, but it's going through all the history. Of, 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 you know, um, Esau going back, you know, when, the, you know, World War One, you know, World War Two and shit like that. Um, I'll just get like the topics. They got um, creeping disaster in Ukraine. They got that entitled and they're going off into, you know, um, all this money that they spent. They going into the history of what was really popping when, you know, everything went down at first. All the history is in here. I love this article. I can't read it all because it's so long. Okay, so now next they have the in 1994 Defense Secretary William Perry warned Bill Clinton point blank that a wounded Moscow would lash out in response to NATO expansion. So this going back, Bill Clinton was president. See, and even before that as well though. But um, it, it um it says between March 2022 and December 2023. The Pew Research Center found that the percentage of Republicans who think the U.S. gives too much support to Ukraine climbed from 9% to a whopping 48%. So people like, man, look, stop sending our money over there. We're done with that shit. We don't give a shit. Fuck Ukraine. <laughs> Pretty much that's overall what it is. So you have that division, you know, that um, big time, um, 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 you know, um, division too. But it's, it's, among, it's amongst the Edomites in general. See, when you really think about it, the, the U.S. so-called white people shouldn't even be fighting against the U, um, the Russian um, so-called white people or the Russian against the Ukrainians or, you know, those NATO nations are Edomites. You think that Russia would they, they would all just, you know, let's 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 bring them in. You know, we're the white race, so to speak. We're dying off quicker than we're being born and we need to get together. We have all the power. We got all the money. We got all the nuclear might. You know, all the weapons and everything, all these other nations, we can crush all these other nations and we could just come to you think that they'd be thinking like that. But the Lord has placed that wedge in between them, man. And, and they're separated. So just as America is fought, see, within, within all these countries, they're separated. But as a whole, globally, they're separated. So let's get that in Matthew 12 and 25. Because you're seeing this place start to crumble and fall. And it's beautiful, man. I love it. You got the people in the comment boards. These people have absolutely no goddamn clue that they're about to be nuked soon, especially here in Babylon the Great, man. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh Shah knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. That means destruction. Doom. Here you go. You got the Americas. They're on the brink of a civil war almost, man. If Trump lose or Biden lose, ain't no telling what's going to happen in this place, man. And they're not going to one side, either side is not going to take it lightly. They're, they're going to be riding. It don't make no difference which one of them win or lose. It's going to be a battle. And, and that's the Lord stirring the pot, man. And Yahweh Shah knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself. It's divided against itself should not stand. So you nothing can, you know, this. The scriptures talked about can two walk together unless they be agreed. If you got two people that's walking together and one saying, no, I want to go this way. The other one saying, no, I want to go this way. And this is arguing and bickering. Then eventually they're going to separate like, hey, look, no, I don't want to go that way because I'm telling you now, you know, I know it's that way. And it's, it's not worth it. We're going to, you know, whatever, whatever. But the case may be two people that can't agree on something. They, they're going to divide. That's just like a house with a husband and wife. They can't agree on shit. 
they're going to be bouncing. Somebody's going to be like, oh, you know what? I can't take this no more. I'm taking my things and I'm leaving. You know, I want a divorce, whatever, whatever. But it's destroyed when, when people can't make a decision together. You know, everybody is not going to agree, agree 100% of the time. You know, you have a situation where you agree to disagree. But I'm talking about from a standpoint of you're just completely divided. You're hardcore, completely divided on, on what this person is saying. And you can never come to grasp what they're trying to say because you have so much hatred for them, basically. And that's what you have on the right and the left here in America. They hate they, these people hate each other. They ready to really get down. They ready to really get at each other's throats. These people are ready to really fight it out and strike it out, scrap it out, man. OK, it says if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? See, how your kingdom going to stand if you divide it? Half your men saying we're going to do this, half your men saying we're we going to do that. You can't even make a decision on simple shit. In the meanwhile, all these other countries, they're just surpassing you. Let's see, I think what's that? Uh, Yeah, the Lord is dealing right now, man. Gotta love it, man. We live in a very, very interesting times, man. Um, Amos 3 and 3, can can two walk together except they be agreed? Hell, America, it, 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 Trump talking about if he become president, you know, again, he basically, he gonna walk away from NATO, <laughs> you know? They can't even agree on nothing. You know, NATO, you know, it, it's like they're divided in so many different areas. It's like it, they're, they're, they're scatterbrained. Everybody else is just looking like, yep, this is our opportunity to go ahead and push full steam ahead while them clowns are still debating on whether or not they're going to. And it take America 10, 20 years to do something that another country will pull off in five months. Interesting. But, hey, it's the Lord. But here we go again. Um, so the people are divided on the Ukraine hookup. You, they, um, they got this one entitled Crisis in Gaza. They're not with that shit over there, man. As a matter of fact. It's another article in here that just popped up on this guy right here. Matter of fact, let me, you know what? Let me read out the rest of these and we'll go to this other article on this guy. Benjamin Netanyahu. Okay, they have, it says Biden has damaged American diplomatic leadership in the Middle East and much of the world and weakened his domestic support in contingencies that were, that were critical for his win in 2020. So... He's doing all he can right now. I think they just um, raised like him and Kamala. They uh, just raised like fifty three um, million dollars or whatever. You know what I'm saying? For campaigning, you know, which is kind of, you know, they made a little bit of money to go out here and try and throw you them bullshit ass commercials and, um, you know, basically try and get that vote back. So there's some people that's still behind them, but it's just not as strong as it, it, it would normally be. And then they got um, also entitled Trouble in the Taiwan Straits. So they're going through all these, these situations that America got, on, got going on. And they're going through all the histories, which I should, you know, um, save this link and just put it in there so brothers can get down if they want to. Because this is a very, very interesting article. They have um, the sum of three crises. Let me see. Yeah, this is the part that I wanted to read right here. I'm, I'm you know, I'm just going to get this portion here because it kind of sums up a little bit of it. It says Washington now finds itself facing three complex global crises, each demanding its undivided attention. Any one of them would challenge the skills of even the most seasoned diplomat there simultaneously places the, the U.S. in the inevitable position of potential reverses in all three of that or at, in all three at once. Even as his politics at home threatened to head into an era of chaos, playing upon Americans' domestic divisions, the protagonists in Beijing, Moscow, and Tel Aviv are all holding a long, hard, or at least a potential longer one than Washington's and hoping to win by default when the U.S. tires of the game. As the incumbent, Biden must bear the burden of any reversal with the consequent political damage this November. Meanwhile, waiting in the wings, Donald Trump may try to escape such foreign entanglements and their political costs by reverting the Republican Party historic isolationism, even as he ensures that the former lone superpower of the planet Earth could come apart at the seams in the wake of election 2024. If so, in such a distinctly quagmire world, American global hegemony would fade with surprising speed, soon becoming little more than a distant memory. See that?
Ooh, boy, you can't make this up, man. Beautiful. Let me just get this one. They spread themselves too thin, man. Isaiah 14 and 10, it says, All they that shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become as weak as we? Art thou, <laughs> art thou become like unto us? See? America is being weakened. It's already weakened, man. And let me get this one, too. Because it's all the Lord. You know, this empire, it, it just is what it is. The Lord set up empires, and he takes empires down. He gives them the amount of time that they're going to stand. And then he, he, hey, he, he sets a time stand stamp for it it can't go past the boundary man this place is about to fall and it's through proverbs 21 and 1 the king's heart is in the hand of the lord yahweh as the rivers of water he turneth it whithersoever he will so the lord is dealing with these kings you don't think that the, uh, the lord you know um, um um got vladimir putin there for another six years that man's not there for nothing he's going to play the part of the lord well you know whatever the case may be on on on, on the lord's time scale man beautiful I want to grab this one in the apocryphal too yeah man we're living in very beautiful times man very very beautiful times you can't get around it this is ecclesiasticus also known as the book of sirach 25 and 7 there be nine things which i have judged in my heart to be happy and the tenth i will utter with my tongue a man that hath joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy and that's what we're witnessing man <laughs> straight up and and mainly Hey, this is right here is what's about to pop, though. Um, this is um, Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. See, you you had to see that 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 Russian president, he's pretty strategic. He understands that America can't handle him, them. Um, um, China, um, Iran, um, uh, uh, North Korea and all those brick nations in, in general, all those brick nations that's, you know, getting away from the dollar, the dollar is falling and crashing. You know, these, these guys are trading in their own currency. They're like, fuck America. Even America's allies are like, fuck America. Cause they understand that, Hey man, this place is, is, you know, they're not stable. America's not stable, man. This place is, is nasty. It's dirty. The infrastructure is horrible. You know? They try and front and make it seem as if it's the greatest place in the world. But this place is trash compared to other countries, man. The technology that's going on in these other countries, man, has well surpassed America's, man. So let's see here. I wanted to get this other article here, though. This one just popped up. Uh, I think it was in my notification. See this one right here. Benjamin Netanyahu Blast Schumer. And, and, and Schumer is a um, small hat. It says Biden over waning support for Israel. Focus should be bringing down Hamas. Why should we be helping you? And see, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. Your tax money is going towards all this shit. Now, you got what, you know, you, you've been having a lot of celebrities and people have been popping up like so-called blacks shouldn't be even paying taxes because you're not, you know, you won't give us reparations. At least you can do is stop fucking taxing us. But where's that tax money going to? That tax money is going towards these wars, these countries that don't give a shit about you. You see what I'm saying? These people don't care nothing about you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But they piss. Now, 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 you getting all this money. They've been getting money well before any of this was going. These people been getting money out of us for, for, for since 1948. Now, all of a sudden, they over there tearing up the Gaza Strip and shit like that. They want some more money on top of the money that's already been given. Okay. But see, this is all a part of the fall. Because before, let's say just five years ago, 10 years ago or so, especially 10 years or so ago, man, it would have been, it's all support going towards Israel. Nobody would have ever even questioned any of the shit that they even doing right now. But now the spotlight is on them and people are like, oh man, yeah, these motherfuckers is wicked as hell. Right? Okay, it says, um, Israel, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu <laughs> issued a sharp rebuttal against Senator Chuck Schumer, who called for a new leadership in the Jewish state. So they want this guy gone. Remember, they was, um, you know, they was out protesting hard as shit for this guy to lead. Then what happens? All of a sudden, there's this October 7th attack. And we know that Esau Edom is notorious for false flags, man. Anyway, 
It says, I, he says, I think Schumer's statements are wholly inappropriate. I think we're not a banana, a, not a banana republic. The people of Israel will choose when they'll have an election who they elect. And it's not something that we be foisted upon us. That, um, okay, he said to Fox and Friends Wednesday, on uh, weekend, Slovakia. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer of New York um, called on Israel to elect a new prime minister to replace Benjamin Netanyahu in order to move towards a lasting peace between the Israelis and Palestinians in the form of a two-state solution. And, you know, this man is a... Hey, they all over the place, though. They, they're separated, too. Because this article... Let me see if I still got this other article, too. Go back into my history. Uh, It was another article. Oh, this right here. See, they're all separated, too. Israel's army exemptions for the ultra-Orthodox are part of a bigger challenge. The Jewish state is divided over Jewish religion. So you got women that's got to go to the mandatory, have to go to the military for at least two years. But these these fuckers won't go. And they basically saying that they'll leave Israel if they have to, if they're forced to um go and fight for the, for their country. Right. <laughs> so. The comments, you know, and, and you can see in the comments, people not with this neither. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's a lot of up uproar and uptick of and they would call it all these comments in here. They would call it anti-Semitism. But these people just like, well, shit, hey, because they'll send these Americans. They, they, they'll have they'll have your sons and daughters from America go over there and get their goddamn legs and arms and shit blown off of these people. And they people won't even go. Which makes no sense. But we get it, man. We understand. So this is a nice little article too right here. It says growing um heretic sector. They going into a lot of the history and stuff like that too um in here. Seven and ten Israeli Jews opposed the blanket exemption, meaning another exemption might jeopardize net naughty Jews. Government frustration is also rising over plans to raise the military service of men to three years and to double the duty of reservists to 42 days a year. So if they're going to raise it for, um, you know, um, for three years for the men, they're probably going to raise it for the women as well. It says none of this would matter if the heredim were still the same tiny segment of society they were in 1948. Today, however, the orthodox. The ultra-Orthodox women have 6.5 children on average, compared with 2.5 among other Jewish Israeli women, and one in four young young children are un are Orthodox Jews. Okay, so yeah, them women, hey, they stand at the gate, they at the crib, they getting that money, they just hey, they 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 push pushing some babies out. <laughs> the rest of them just out there trying to live that regular, you know, I want a career world. It says the resulting transformation of Israeli society is easy to see. If the trend continues, Israel will become a very different and very religious society, one that can hardly survive economically. Oh, they're going to survive. Why? Because they're going to be still in the pockets of you, you Americans. <laughs> you know, hey, that's the real welfare state right there, man. Here you go. America had absolutely nothing to do with the holla. The cost of the holla. If you know what I'm talking about. Nothing to do with it. So why are they, why, why, why are you, you know, so hell bent on giving these people all this money every year? Then the American citizens don't have anything to do with it. So you already know that they done went in and, and they, they done bought America. I was even watching that guy, Scott Ritter. He was talking about it. Like, man, America is bought by Israel. That That's just a wrap. He was, he was like, we have no, um, um. This false sense of America that these these Americans have, man, you this this is not your country. Not even <laughs> this is not your country. Them Israelis, man, they running this shit, man. It says for Israeli societies, let me see here. One average of non Haredi household pays nine times more income tax than a Haredi one while the latter receives over 50% more state support. It, even if they were ready to work, most Haredim... See, these people don't even work. Most Haredim 
Not even the men. They don't work. What the scripture says, if man doesn't work, neither shall he eat. They, these people don't work. They get their support, you know, from the government. Right? It says uh, most of them would have a hard time finding well-paid jobs as their state subsidized private schools teach hardly any secular topics. For Israeli society, this pretends further fragmentation and weakening of the economy to say nothing of the army. But Chief Rabbi Yatsek says this would never happen. And in his and other Haredim's eyes, Israeli soldiers succeed only because religious Jews study and pray for them. <laughs> oh, man. They need to understand that without the Torah, without the yeshivas, they'd be nothing. No success for the army, he said. Man, there you have it. And like I said, again, when you go off into these, these comments, um, you know, these Americans are, are are done with you Israelis, you goddamn Ukrainians. They don't want nothing to do with their money leaving this country and going towards any of you other countries, considering all the shit that they're going through here and trying to keep up with all these high ass bills, man. All the prices are raising here. They're raising all the taxes and raising all this. And they have to do it really to support these countries, man. But hey, it's, it's pretty much all about a rap, man. Shit is over with. Um, you know, hey, I just wanted to touch on these couple of articles real quick. But that, uh, hey, we're, you're watching the fall of your enemy, man. And we're happy about it. Continue on praying for the downfall of Israel, downfall of NATO, downfall of EU, downfall of America, Russia, all these damn Edomites. Just the downfall of Edomites kingdom in general. Continue on praying for that stuff because it's working. <laughs> it's working, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.